School bullies, experts call it an epidemic. Parents want to know what they can do to protect their kids. And today's free bullying seminar on the northwest side was the chance to get those answers. We sent Not On Your Side's Marcelino Benito to check it out. Inside a small fellowship hall at St. Mark's United Methodist Church, a small group of parents, teachers, and students got together to tackle bullying. Do you think parents have the tools necessary to, to, help, uh, to help with this? Not all the time, no. No, because uh, even, even here at the church, a lot of our parents are working parents, and by the time they get home, they basically don't have the time to discuss this with their, with their children or whatever. And parents don't have the time to come out and uh, do things like this to see. And they don't really see it as a problem. But for Nine On Your Side viewers, it's a serious one. We've read hundreds of messages from you telling us about what your kids are going through. And they're going through a lot inside their schools. Is it harder to be a kid nowadays? Um, I think yes. I thought I had it pretty tough as a kid, but no, there. Um, the pressures are much more intense, I think, and in terms of being bullied, as we mentioned, we have these additional tools that um, can be employed by someone who's determined to hurt someone else. So today, parents wanted some help. What do you do? They got answers from Dr. Sherry Bowman, a professor at the University of Arizona. She walked the crowd through scenarios and took questions. Do you think that the bullying stopped after that? She told parents teachers are faced with a real challenge. Well, nowhere in teacher training or any uh, administrator training is there a course on how to respond to bullying. So the real key to ending bullying, she says, is students. Helping kids become empowered bystanders who change the climate of their school is when we're really going to see a difference. Now Bowman says bullying won't stop overnight and adds seminars and workshops like today's can slowly help change the culture of bullying inside our schools. Ed Marcelino, how can parents get schools to be more responsive when it comes to school bullies? Well, a lot of parents wonder about that. Bowman says it's important to keep a really good line of open communication and to make sure that relationship with the school isn't contentious at all. All right, good advice. Marcelino, thank you so much.